Hi, this is Sarah Bechtel, Artist Educator for Strathmore. In this video, we'll be discussing how to start a colored pencil drawing. First, and most obvious, you'll need paper and colored pencils. For information about choosing a paper surface, you can refer to the video titled, Choosing Paper for Colored Pencil Work. I'll be working on Strathmore's 400 series heavyweight drawing paper, which is a 100 pound, medium textured paper with a lovely cream color. I prefer colored pencils that are medium to soft in consistency because I find it much easier to build up saturated color. So for this video, I'll be using two brands of artist grade colored pencils. Prismacolor Premier colored pencils, which are soft and waxy, and Caran d'Ache Luminance pencils, which have a smooth, creamy consistency. Both of these brands have a high pigment concentration, so I can achieve intense saturated color in my drawing. When I start a colored pencil piece, I create my initial drawing with a graphite pencil. In this initial drawing, I perfect the shapes and contours of my subject matter. Most artist grade colored pencils do not erase easily, so by working in graphite pencil first, I can erase and change things with ease. When I'm drawing, I like to use a mechanical pencil with the lead extended out about an inch. I tend to draw heavy handed, so keeping an extended point like this reminds me to work with a light touch. If I were to press too hard on this, the lead would easily break. However, if you prefer a classic wood encased graphite pencil, that will also work well. I use an HB lead, which is right in the middle of the graphite hardness scale. If you're a beginner or you tend to make a lot of corrections in your initial drawing, you may want to perfect your drawing on sketch paper first and then transfer it onto your final surface. Here, I created this drawing of an apple on Strathmore 300 series sketch paper. Once I have everything exactly how I want it, I scribble on the back with a softer 6B graphite pencil. I can see my drawing through the back of the sketch paper, and I am completely covering my lines with a layer of graphite. I then place my sketch paper over my final surface, secure it in place with an easy to remove tape, and trace the outline. I am using a medium amount of pressure as I trace the outline. Heavy pressure could damage the final paper, and light pressure will result in the transfer process not working. When I remove the sketch paper, my image is transferred. I have a small amount of extra graphite that can be easily removed with an eraser, but my final paper doesn't have any graphite ground deeply into the tooth. Once my initial drawing is complete, I can start building up colored pencil. This is a red delicious apple, and the colors I'm using for shading are a cool red, a warm red, indigo blue, and violet. I like to start in thin layers and build up slowly using multiple colors. I apply the colored pencil in linear strokes while working in multiple directions, which helps me to fill in the texture of the paper and achieve even tones. I'm not pressing too hard, I want to keep my strokes lighter at this point. Keep in mind that it takes time to build up your colored pencil layers. My shading is going to look uneven and grainy for a while. That's part of the process, I just continue to slowly build up my color. If I were to apply the colored pencil with heavy pressure in the beginning, the texture of the paper would get filled with pencil too quickly, and I wouldn't be able to apply additional layers of colored pencil. I always encourage artists to look for a color in the shadow areas rather than immediately reaching for dark browns or black. For example, the shadows of this apple are quite dark, but rather than using black, which can make my colors look muddy, I'm going to use purple and indigo blue instead. After about 45 minutes of shading, my apple now looks like this. My values and colors are blocked in, and I have a fair amount of colored pencil applied to the paper. For more information on taking your drawing further using blending techniques, please refer to the video titled Dry Methods for Blending Colored Pencil and the video titled Blending Colored Pencil with Solvents. Thanks for watching.